So social justice is a value that drives me. Right. And so consumers of rice are all around the world and mostly in areas where it's the poorest people Mm -hmm. and farmers. Working on rice quality meant that um, most of our research was about the genetics, the physiology and the biochemistry that happened in the plant to produce a high quality rice grain. And Australia exports to the highest quality markets and it's um, we're one of the largest rice traders in the world, so wow, rice quality is really important. Yeah. We're, my, we're one of the smallest producers at 1 million tonnes a year, but we are the fifth largest trader because right. most countries eat the rice they consume. Yeah. One of the things for me is a real limitation is travel because you have to travel for your networks, you have to travel for collaboration, you have to travel for conferences. And so I'm trying to work at the moment on a, um, a new way that we can support women for this. Mm-hmm. When you travel, you have certain costs that you can claim. Uh, fuel, accommodation and food and incidentals. Yeah. And they are not, they are exempt under fringe benefit tax. So what I'm trying to do is to have another one where you can claim for somebody to come into your house and look after your mm. your children. They may clean, they may wash, do some vacuuming as well, but come in and look after the children as an expense that's not under fringe benefit. For the students, we yeah. put them all in one building yeah and one open plan building yeah and some of them couldn't be there all the time but anyway we we created collegiality with them we had a barbecue area (laughs) so we had team building type events we had lunches in the barbecue area we had a big confidentiality thing over the whole center so that it didn't make it difficult for them to talk about things Mm -hmm. but it built the built the skill I think of confidentiality for all of the 10 students Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so things that they were exposed to that they shouldn't really have been exposed to they had to be confidential about that. I get passionate about something and when you're passionate about something people follow you Mm -hmm. usually especially Mm -hmm. if you can articulate the direction and it means something to them Mm -hmm. and usually I can get some people on board who who understand the vision but who can also be better at pulling some less um, willing people along. Because yeah. I'm not usually um, very good at like um, understanding how and how something impacts how someone feels. Right. I don't read a room really well and things like that. And But I have people around me and I make sure I do have people around me who are good at that. Mm. So that if I do something that pisses somebody off, they can come and tell me and I can think about it and together we can work out how I can reverse that. <laughs>